Hello guys, it's Tatum. In today's video, I'm gonna do a berry toned look with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I think this is a beautiful palette and I think it's such a staple for fall. And I love that it has the neutrals and also fun colors to play with, like these ones over here. And I think these colors, these berry colors, would look really pretty for fall. And I also think they would look good with this, with the shirt I'm wearing. <laughs> it says California Honey. I got it from Forever 21. Um, so yeah, I am really excited to film this look for you guys. And let's, so yeah, let's get started. Gonna itch on my eyebrow. <laughs> so I just ordered the KL Kathleen White's polish, her fall polish line, and I'm so excited. It's 70s vibes, which that's awesome. <laughs> I love I love listening to 70s, 80s music. I think they have one of the best genre. I also do love listening to now music. Um, so yeah, I'm just so happy for Kathleen and I love the colors. I'm so excited for it to come in the mail. It should arrive in three to 10 business days. So if you guys wanna see a review on the nail polishes, then please let me know in the comments below. And yeah, so to because I just freshly freshly washed my face. I am now going to put some of this Pixie Skin Treats 12K Eye Elixir. I have puffy eyes, like under eyes as you can see. And I saw Haley, Cosmo by Haley, who's one of my favorite YouTubers, um, talk about this in her cruelty free skincare routine video and so I decided to give it a try and I have been using it non-stop the past few weeks. I love it. It really depuffs my under eyes while also hydrating them and so that's what I'm going to do now. <laughs> Start with the eyes today, or I'm gonna start with the eyes today. <laughs> um, though you can totally do that too. Um, I'm gonna use the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. I love this concealer. It's in the shade O2. This is recommended by Haley as well. I love her. She is a great YouTuber. She also is cruelty free, which is amazing. So I think you you guys should definitely check her out. And to blend the concealer on my eyelids, I'm going to spray my little Eagle Tools sponge with the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I saw Bella Fiori do this. She's another one of my favorites. So, I'm gonna test her method out. So now I'm going to set the concealer with the shade called Tempra. It's the first creamy white shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just taking an e.l.f. flat shader brush and just putting that on my eyelid. I believe that Anastasia has like one of the best eyeshadow formulas other than Tarte and Too Faced. I'm 
these three brands are my one of my favorite high-end brands and they're cruelty free which makes me really happy okay so for the crease I'm gonna take golden ochre I'm gonna use my Lexi 205 taper blending brush and just using the whoops golden ochre shade applying that to the crease shadows blend so well and have such nice pigmentation now I'm gonna take I'm gonna take burnt orange and just apply that to the outer V outer portion of my eye, I should say. Hopefully this look turns out. Alright, so now I'm going to take... I think I'm going to take... Do I want to take this color or this color? <laughs> so many choices. Um, I think I'm gonna take. Actually, I'm gonna take Love Letter because it is more berry toned than this one, and I'm just gonna apply that to the inner portions of my eyelid with my Equal Tools shading brush. So I'm just going to take Love Letter. Oh, that is so pretty! That is so pretty, guys! There's barely any fallout with this palette as well, which makes me really happy. I always, I try to do my eyes first, just in case there is any fallout. On the shades, I'm going to take Golden Ochre first and just apply that where we applied it originally, just so everything fades nicely and there's no harsh lines. And then I'm going to take burnt orange and just apply that to the crease. Just so everything blends well. There's no harsh lines. Get it up to the intensity that I want. So you, of course, don't have to do this. That's so pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna take where is it? What did I do? Okay. I seem to me misplaced my equal tools brush on mark so I'll just take my elf shader brush that I used earlier and just apply love letter again just to intense apply the color that is so pretty okay so now I'm going to take my exo beauty Actually, that's, oh, that's dirty. Okay, 
I'm gonna take my what is this Royal and Lang Nickel BOM 18 detail brush and I'm gonna take the shade Vermeer and put that in the inner corner. Just to brighten everything up. I'm so happy with how this look turned out. Okay, so now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. And for mascara today, I'm gonna use an old one, and then for my bottom one, I'm gonna use a new one. I'm gonna use, for my bottom, I, I just bought this Wet n Wild Get the Skinny, or it's mini, mega, <laughs> mega Slim Skinny Mascara. Maybe I'll use it on the Maybe I'll also use it on the top just to see how it looks. <laughs> so, ooh, this is what the wand looks like. Nice and slim and tiny. So Okay, that is doing nothing for my top, <laughs> so I'm just gonna I'm gonna use it on the bottom. Then. Something different from the top of my lashes. So I'll just use the Essence Lash Princess Mascara on the top of my lashes. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the face. So for primer, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I love this primer. It smells so good and it works fabulously. On, and it also just hydrates the skin really well. Okay, so for foundation today, I'm going to take a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Porcelain and just apply that. Whoop. 
I'm gonna apply one layer first and blend that out with my XO Beauty angled face brush. Okay, so we're gonna add one more layer because I feel like being extra today. <laughs> right now I'm just gonna blend it in. Putting down the neck as well. I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape and the shade Fair Neutral just to brighten up while also concealing. Use the same brush that we used for foundation and just my skin looks like a healthy mat which I really like and now to set everything I am going to use under the eyes. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mugga, <laughs> Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shade. I think this one is in the shade. Oh, yeah. Dolce de Leche, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm going to be using my Real Techniques setting brush and just taking this powder and applying it. Of the face, I'm going to take the Milani Prep Set and Glow. Now I'm going to take my Equal Tools powder brush and just swirl it in and just apply it to the rest of my face. So now I'm going to use, surprise, surprise, Oops. my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer to warm up the face. I'm going to use this Royal, Royal and Lane Nickel Moda Pro BMX 130 Pointed Brush. Find that and just apply it to the cheeks. 
this gives, gives such a healthy sheen while also giving a healthy bronzed look. One of the best bronzers ever. High-end drugstore. I like this brush, uh, the brush because of how it blends everything really well. Blush, I'm going to use <laughs> a lot of Wild and Wild pro products, but it's not sponsored, I promise. It's called In a Purple Haze. Should I? Oh, actually, I'll just use the same br brush the other side and. not too pigmented. It's buildable though. I'm actually going to use a different brush. I'm going to use my It Cosmetics blush brush. in there a few times. There we go. It's such a pretty color. Why is no one talking about this? I just bought this yesterday. Oh my gosh. You guys. It is so pretty and it gives a nice sheen to the skin too. Ah, I'm in love. Okay. So for highlight today, I'm also going to use uh, the What in Wild. <laughs> I promise this video is not sponsored. What in Wild Precious Petals Highlighter. And to apply that, I'm going to use my crown brush. This doesn't have a name on it, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna swirl it in there. Whoa. Huh. Come through, wet and wild. Wow. I haven't tried this highlight before. As you can tell by <laughs> my <a> reaction. <laughs> Okay, so to go with the berry theme, I'm going to use a berry lip, of course. I'm going to wipe this beautiful foundation off of my lips, and I'll be right back. I'm going to set my neck real quick. <laughs>
So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Beautiful Bear Satin Lipstick in the shade Touch of Berry. It's this beautiful berry shade. And now to set everything, I'm going to use the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. That is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did filming it for you guys. I really like how it turned out. It's a really pretty berry look and I think I'll be wearing this a lot for fall. Um, I didn't do anything to my eyebrows because I am still learning how to do them. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed night, day, or wherever you are, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.